My first setup principle is the grip. The grip plays a massive role in the golf swing. It's our only connection to the golf club. So a proper grip can help us move the club into the correct positions and help us create really great speed. So the first thing I want to make sure you're doing is gripping the club in your fingers. When you lift, say, something heavy, let's say like a luggage suitcase, you would do so in the fingers because there's a lot of strength there. So when we grab the golf club, I want it to be more so in the fingers than the palm. So see if you can nestle your fingers in the grip like that, and then that left thumb will just sit on top for a right hand golfer. What we want to do with this right hand is link it in on this underside so we've got great connection between the two hands to move the club. You can go a 10 finger grip so they're just sitting next to each other. Some players will overlap but that interlock tends to be the most popular grip option. On the overside here we just want to make sure those thumbs are down the line of the shaft. That plays a massive role in being able to hinge the club and create leverage there. If those thumbs are wrapped like a, like a baseball or a softball grip, we can have too much movement in the club. So thumbs on top, grip in the fingers, interlock, gives us great strength of the golf club, helps us move it in the correct position, and it certainly helps us brace for that collision into the golf ball. So make sure the grip's in the fingers, interlock or 10 finger, and get those thumbs down the line of the shaft.